Carolyn with Hollywood First Look Features, and right now I'm on the yellow carpet for the world premiere of Always Be My Maybe. It's written and produced and stars Randall Park and Ali Wong and features Keanu Reeves. Let's take our first look. You're gonna be late. All right, I look good? Yes. Water? That came from your thigh gap? No, thank you. Thanks for calling it a gap. We are catching up with celebrity chef Sasha Trent and her fiance, Brandon Choi. What a great cause, huh? Mm. Hey, yo, it's time to get the party. We are opening a new restaurant, and I need you in San Francisco. Uh, hey! Hi, Marcus. Yeah, hi, Sasha. Hi. Hello. Hi. Long time. <laughs> I'm surprised you two lost touch. You used to be so close. So, when's the big wedding day? He wants to travel a bit before we settle down. It's really for the both of us. I finally realized that I don't want to get married. Are you kidding me? You're a piece of I guess I have to start dating again. Ugh, is there anything worse? You and Marcus are so cute. Mm, no, no. Remind me why you never got together? There's way too much history there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You still have the Corolla? What are you looking at? My back seat? Because we had sex back there? Oh my god! So what do you think? That it might be even smaller and grosser than I remember. Hey, you better still be talking about my back seat. <laughs> at what point did they tell you that you were going to be playing the young Ali Wong? Well, I actually sort of knew from the beginning because they were like, oh, Ali Wong is playing the older version. I was like, oh my gosh, I love Ali because I had worked with her before on American Housewife. I played her daughter and I was like, oh my gosh, I really... I really want to see Ali again, and I was so excited, and I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't, I don't, I don't expect things from casting directors, I don't expect just because I look right, and that I know the person that I'm going to get it. I expected, I wasn't, I didn't have high expectations, I was like, I just do my best, I'll just do my best in there, and we'll see what happens. Yes, yes, very long time, what's up? Sasha Trash! Mr. Kim! You're like her own Asian Oprah. How much money do you have now? <laughs> Be serious. You have some really fun and funny moments in this movie. Talk to me, was that written into the script or was that, did you add a little bit of your own flair? It's all there. They, um, the, their, the, the writing was terrific. And I think what I liked about it is that he's honest. Harry Kim is just honest. So when he says these things, it's just humorous because people are sort of taken aback that, did he really say that? But what's really funny for me in watching this, I was like, that is so my mom. Like just so blatant, just tell you how it is. And you're like, where's the, where's the bedside manner, mom? Come on. Yeah, exa exactly. And that's what they, they wrote. So it was a pleasure. I, I didn't have to add anything else. It, it was all on the page. I mean, it was amazing. The whole cast, I just wish like I could be with them all the time because they seem like family, you know? I mean, first of all, Ninochka, like, she creates this, like, crew and um, the ca the entire cast and crew was just fabulous. And so, you know, when, anytime you're working on a movie like this, you become like family. But because I, I'm, I was such a fan of Ali's, you know, for such a long time. And Randall, I've actually known for a while and a huge fan of his. And so, like, being able to work with them and also to kind of create and bring my own kind of uniqueness to the character, I felt like safe to do so, you know? And I feel like when you're being creative, like the best thing you can do is like kind of give yourself permission to do it, you know? So the tagline here is there was a going, there's always been something special between them. How did you guys know at what point that this was going to be something special? Like our movie? Yes, I saw it, it was fantastic, oh, you guys! I, I mean, I, we still don't, we, yeah, we, we, we don't had a special either. experience, the movie doesn't come out till the 31st, yeah, so. we don't know. We feel like it's special, but yeah. we don't know yet if the rest of the world will feel like it's special. The fact that you think it's special is, is yeah. great. What do you two think makes someone worthy of a second chance after you have a falling out and don't speak for years? Woo! Mm. You gotta still have chemistry, you gotta still have that fire, and then you gotta be yeah. available. That's a, yeah. a practical <laughs> answer, but so true. Yeah. It just, fate has to intervene. Yeah. Is Hello Peril going to be going on some concert dates, maybe with Allie? I'm not going. You can go. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Always Be My Maybe will be available on Netflix on May 31st. This is Carolyn. We'll see you next time. Always be my maybe. You don't want to wonder what is. Tell her how you feel, son. I have some news. So do I. It's big. Mine's big too. Okay, look, um. Okay, I wanna go first. I met someone. Wow, that's that's so great. We had the most insane, freaky ass sex. I can't even talk about it, otherwise. Yeah, let's might stop happen. talking about it. Baby. I miss your flesh. I miss your thighs. I miss your beard scratching my thighs. I miss your taste. I miss your thumbs. You're so good with your thumbs. <laughs> <laughs>